and as if you hadn't guessed already, it's another fourth Doctor custom. Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure video. In today's video, I will be taking a look at this. This is my custom fourth Doctor figure from the Talons of Wang Chiang. Um, you're probably thinking, aha, but it's already been released. It has, and that is essentially what this figure is. However, my customising style, I've said this many times before, is modifying rather than creating a brand new figure from scratch. As those of YouTubers that I mentioned in the last video that do brand new vid me, know what am I saying? They do brand new figures from scratch. I prefer to sort of modify previously released figures to make them look more accurate to the story they came from. So naturally I was very drawn to the fourth Doctor figure that was based on his appearance in Talons of Wang Chiang. One of the problems I had with that one is that they didn't do the iconic Deer Stalker hat, which is rather annoying because at that point when B&M were releasing figures they didn't invest in any new sculpts that they're apparently doing now. And if you're wondering, yes I have seen those pictures of the new apparently real B&M sets. Um, speechless, but um, that's a topic for another video. But anyway, um, so how did I make this? Mostly it's a, just a repaint of the original release, but um, I did have a spare hatted Tom Baker head from that custom I did last time of the fourth Doctor from the Face of Evil, so I did have a spare hatted head from that figure, so naturally what I did for that is I got a tool and plucked the hat off, basically leaving him looking rather funny because he had this big plastic lump coming off the top of his head, and then I got a big blob of Milliput and sculpted um, his deer stalker hat on, which, if it will focus, if it will focus, it actually looks rather nice, and I might have to just pull my camera back a little bit, but, um, it was quite tricky to sculpt, however, in the end, um, I'm rather pleased with how it turned out. The, my paint apps on it, I'm not a very good painter in of any stretch of the imagination, if it will focus, I'm really not good with fine detail, not the way a lot of other customisers are, I don't really have a thin brush either, it was quite a thick brush and I was trying to make thin detail on there, but I think in places the patterning, that is awful patterning there, um, does work. Essentially what it's supposed to be, is it's supposed to be white checkers on a grey brown hat with a few red and blue detailing, which is essentially what was seen on screen. I think I went a bit overboard with the um, the patterning on there because it isn't anywhere near this noticeable in the episode it is way more subtle however it does the job nicely and it's certainly clear to see what this is meant to be if anything this looks better in real life than it does on camera but hey ho um what one thing i'm pleased about is so very subtle however i did do the black trim along the front of the deer stalker rather nicely now you might be wondering why it doesn't have the little peak coming out of the back I thought it had a little peak coming out of the back, but looking at images in the episode on Google, apparently it didn't have that, so um, so I was it surprised me, but um, on reflection, I don't remember it ever having that, so yeah, it's pretty accurate. Also, a few things I've done is repainted the tie. Um, you may have noticed some of these paint applications from previous video, because this figure has featured in a previous video but at that point I hadn't have done I hadn't done the deer stalker hat yet and I hadn't done another little feature that I've done recently. It was a sort of a halfway through video I did like months back. So I sort of came back to this recently and completed it. But um but yeah I did repaint the tie because on the B and M one they didn't really bother to paint the tie at all. They just put a little red sort of a sort of like a resemblance of a tie but it wasn't very well painted. Also now I am determined that I've got this right and everybody else has got this wrong. Either the world's gone mad or I've gone mad. But I swear that he, Tom Baker's waistcoat is blue, not brown. B and Emma determined that it was brown or some sort of grey colour. But looking at photos from Towns of Wang Chiang and when this waistcoat was reused later on in the Key to Time series, I could swear it is blue, not brown. Everyone seems to think it's brown, but I swear it's blue. So um. I went with my gut feeling and painted it blue, and then I also, this is some rather nice detail, I forgot I did, I did some flecks of paint on there, which I believe is accurate to the episode. Don't ask me why Tom Baker's eyes are so blue, that's a fault of the B&M head sculpt that um, I used here, but um, yeah, I'm rather pleased with that. I also darkened the jacket, I did a sort of a black wash over the top because it was way too vivid before, and it does have some patterning on it in the episode, however... 
it's it's like little dots and I, it, I essentially need to already for parts of this figure I was dipping cocktail sticks in paint and doing really tiny flecks and even they would came out too big so I don't know how on earth I would create a sort of patterning on there so I've darkened it a bit and sort of done a bit of darker in some places to try and almost replicate a sort of pattern but it's not that great um I also attempted to repaint the cuffs white however I went a bit messy in places it sort of went all over the arm but um in, cer in certain lights it works there it looks good however we should ignore that side but um in places it works also this is a nice bit of detailing I did B&M for some reason painted over these sort of because it's the John Pertwee sculpt painted over these sort of flaps here the same sort of patterning as the back which I didn't modify at all by the way however looking at pictures of the episode he did actually have red lining here for the very few occasions it flapped open there was red with this sort of weird greeny bluey red detail on it which is the camera's finding notoriously hard to focus on oh there we are and sort of patterning on there which I'm rather pleased with I thought that came out very well I also try to continue that on the inside as well but that's very difficult to do without any paint rub also the arm came off at one point which didn't help match as much um and i did i think this side's slightly better that's slightly vivid because it is very vivid in the episode if you look carefully and i also tried it doesn't go all the way as you tell but i could also try to create some red lining on the inside as well so um that is pretty much it however I did do something else. If you can see, I tried to create that patterning. You know, you probably can't see long. Yeah, there you are. The sort of rim of the jacket to sort of create the lining flapping open. I tried to do that as well. And um, also, the B and M figure that I use for this is the original one, not the re-release, where they actually sculpted trousers on. This is when he was painted over John Pertwee's boots. So I had a bit of mini foot spare, and I tried to sculpt some sort of a resemblance to trousers on it and um if it will focus again i think i've done a decent job i mean admittedly from that angle it looks absolutely blooming awful but um at the front i think that looks like trousers i think that's a nice continuation it doesn't look like boots like it originally did that side's better i think that looks more natural but i think from a distance you would very very you'd very hard to sort of question that that's not trousers so um so yeah i'm i'm pretty pleased with this custom it's not the best one i've ever done however it's up there and i am improving as i'm going along with these customs i was very tempted to give tom baker that sort of sticky out in the episode in his hand i was going to snap a cocktail stick in half and paint it up but um i didn't have a cocktail stick spare so um maybe i'll go back and revisit it in the future however for now this is coinciding with the season 14 blu-ray as well i thought it was quite a nice little custom doing also for some reason i i had to break open this in order to paint the waistcoat and in doing so he now can't close his jacket coat properly his jacket coat is jacket buttons properly but to be honest this is a really nice sort of little custom and yeah i definitely recommend it if you've got a spare hatted tom baker head sculpt and you're not too bad at painting because admittedly i'm not the best painter of figures in the world but i wouldn't say i'm bad at it i'm just not as good as some other people but i think i'm very pleased with how i didn't spill over the blue line here so i think that's quite proud of that but yeah if you've got if you want to customise this, and I definitely recommend it, is a really rather fun one to do. However, the only problem is, is if I move my tripod up, this is a pretty full shelf, isn't it? So, uh, not much. Oh, actually, it's focusing now, isn't it? It's focusing now. I don't want it to focus on you. But yeah, hopefully, don't all fall down because that shelf fell has fallen over twice in the last weekend. However, I'm not really sure how I'm going to fit this little guy in there, unless I try to fit him in here is impossible and he wouldn't go in there because that's the 60s but um i might maybe or maybe i might film this trying to torture myself putting that in one-handedly and not watching them all fall down uh, that would be fun but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video this sort of custom figure review i, I can't really call it a custom figure review because then in that way i'll be reviewing my own figure which isn't really right but anyway thank you very much for watching a bit of a shorter one today because i don't know why my videos have gone so long but anyway thank you very much for watching and silence in the library 
Right, here goes. No, I'm not going to do it, I'm too scared.